In this tutorial, I'm going to give you a quick introduction to the quick style list, a little bit about uh, how it works, and I'm also going to show you a broader list of styles that are available in the template. Uh, because one of the questions that you might have run into is whether or not these styles that you have in this list, whether or not these are the only styles that are predefined or that you can use in your document. And of course the answer is no, and you can you can find that out if you come for example to abstract if I right click in the con if my cursor is in the context of this style and I right click in the context sensitive menu I come down to styles and you see this style is called THS header non table of context so that style uh, does not show up in my quick style list if I do a quick run through you'll see that's the case and it's the same with some other styles for example the abbreviation style come down again to my styles menu THS abbreviation and there are a few more and it's good to know how to get access to some of these styles because if you want to add for example a blank line you can do that uh, you also need to know it where they are for the bibliography style so to get access to those other styles you just come up to the ribbon to the styles group and click on this arrow that's in the bottom right corner and this will open up your styles window so click on that arrow and these are all the styles that are used in this document and these are all the styles that are predefined for use in this document even if they're not using the document right now so some of these you might find useful if they are in your quick style list for example if you're using EndNote or Zotero which tend to change the formatting of the bibliography when they insert the bibliography or when they update the bibliography field then you might want the bibliography style in the quick style list to do that find the style you want in the styles window click on the down arrow next to the style and then just click on add to quick style gallery when you do that when you come over to your quick style list or quick style gallery uh, and you go to the bottom of the list you'll find that bibliography is now in that list if there are styles in here that you don't use and think you'll never use like maybe you want to get rid of list start all you need to do because you're not using numbered lists all you need to do is hover over that style right click and then click on remove from quick style gallery so that's all there is to it in the next uh, tutorial I plan on showing you how to create your own style and uh, and to how to add that to your quick style list it's very easy to do and it's useful for example if you're taking uh, notes inline notes to yourself for example to remember to look up a certain reference or to double check a statement that you've made and you maybe write some text and highlight it or whatever style you use for your notes um, you can use a predefined style for your notes and then it's very easy to navigate through uh, through your notes and make sure that you have um, that you have all of them taken care of before you print out the document so that's it for this tutorial